In this video, we are going to learn how to get the planner task assignee ID so that we can pass that to additional actions down our flow. So on my screen, you can see that I have this trigger when a task is completed. The outputs of this trigger will give me the, the assign to ID. So the, that's the person that was assigned the task. So in planner, I have this task here and it's assigned to this person here called automate account. And I want to get the details, including the user display name of this person and the email, for example. But of course, the outputs of this trigger won't give that to me. And the other issue that I'm faced with is that this task can be assigned to multiple people, this planner task. So if, for example, I create this, I add this action, get user profile, and I'm going to use the dynamic content of the trigger to get the assignee ID. So if I do assigned to user ID, that's the person that I want. If I do that, it's going to automatically put this in apply to each because apply to each action because there can be multiple people that that task can be assigned to. But in my process, the tasks that I'm working with, they are only ever assigned to one person. In the process, um, we have the task cannot be assigned to multiple people. So given that, I don't want Power Automate to put this into a apply to each or a for each as you see here. So in order to work around that, we need to compose a user ID of the assigned person that we can then pass to this action here. So I'm going to put in a compose and then we're going to write an expression that will return just the first person in the outputs, the user ID. So you can see, for example, I have over here the outputs of the trigger and we have a section that's called assignments. And under that section, we have our user ID, which is right down here. And that's, that's my goal. That, that's what I'm trying to um, retrieve. And there's only ever going to be one. So based on my outputs, the expression that I need to write is going to be first. We write first, and then we get the trigger outputs, the outputs from our trigger. And I will put this expression in the description of the video down below so that you can simply copy and paste. And then we write body forward slash and then underscore assignments, making sure that I'm not mistyping here. And then we add in a, another question mark, and then we put in single quotes, user ID. And that's the expression that we need in order to generate. And then make sure to click add to add in your expression. We're going to rename this to assignee user ID. Now we logically would test this next to make sure that it works. But once you do test to make sure that it works, you'll go ahead and you'll add your outputs into your get user profile. And then we can drag this out of here and delete this. Let's go ahead and save and test. So of course, in order to test, we're going to need to have a planner task ready to be completed. So we're going to, going to go ahead and complete this task here. We're going to hop back over here and we'll go back out here and we'll refresh until this is ready. Now, usually in my instance, at least it might take a couple of minutes for this to run. So be patient. 
and then we'll take a look. And it succeeded. If we click into here on our successful run, and then we can see that it did compose the user ID of the assigned to person. And then it passed that to here. And so if we go down here, we'll be able to see the additional information that we that we want, such as display name. So that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found this useful. And as always, I will see you in that next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.